Welcome back to my channel, guys. I will talk about a few games, and I will do some unboxing, I will do a bit of everything, and you will love it. <laughs> Kidding. You will watch it all, I mean. But first, I need to talk about Monarch, the new game that everyone is talking about. <laughs> At least in my circles, and on my Discord, and I'm gonna try and talk about this on my podcast also. But my god, this game was just released and my subscription feed was filled with reviews of Monarch. So many reviews, all the channels that I ever follow covered this game. Which I'm happy to see. I actually thought no one would cover this game. <laughs> Monarch is a very interesting looking game. And definitely a game that looks like something for me. That is the first thought I ever had when seeing one trailer of this game some time ago now. There is a demo out, so you can download the demo and try the game already. But I played the demo for three hours and my save file didn't transfer over to the full game when I got the full game. Review code provided, thank you. But anyways, I'm just blasting through the first parts of the game and get to the part where the demo ended and then I will continue. So in Monarch you play as a guy in a school setting, all JRPGs are in school settings, am I right? Where a bad and mysterious mist is surrounding the campus making students go insane. There is a madness meter, a big emphasis on the seven deadly sins. This is exactly what I like, Seven Deadly Sins, already talked about that on the podcast. <laughs> Check out Disc Disc. We are now up at episode 10. 10 episodes of the podcast, guys. I hope you have listened to it. I have listened to it several times. At least twice. <laughs> Very nice. But yeah, anyways, more on Monarch. Monarch? Mon monarch. <laughs> Can't say it. You get quizzes in the game with the ego scorings. And they are weird quizzes like if you had a leader meeting, where would you sit and where would your best friend sit in your vision? Anyways, more about the gameplay. The battles, they are tactical battles. Almost like a Fire Emblem vibe to them. You move your party in a turn-based fashion towards the enemy. The art style is awesome. The music was good. You have a phone. There are plenty of achievements in this game. I love achievements and lists and side quests. There's a lot of things to delve into in Monarch. I'm enjoying my time and I've played quite a bit. I mean, the entire game is very horror, scary. You walk around in this school and you traverse up into the mist. And there are plenty of like puzzles in order to progress. And then we have the tactical battles. And we have the seven deadly sins and the, your ego. And the characters are good. And listen to this. Everything is voice acted in English. The art style of the characters and all of that, really good. I must say that I enjoy Monarch so far and I'm very easy to please when it comes to JRPGs. And I want you to check this more out. And like I said, there are just a ton of reviews of this game already up on YouTube. Already. Whoa. I have to say I was happy to see the coverage on this game. Like at least 10 in my feed alone. But then again, I follow a lot of JRPG channels. Oh uh, yeah. Check out Monarch everyone. Now we're gonna do something super fun! This video is sponsored by Lenovo of Norway. Guys, Lenovo has reached Isha Gaming. Lenovo has sent me their new gaming laptop, the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. I know what I'm gonna edit my videos on from now on. Nice little box. Actually a big box. Let me just have this said, I have always been a laptop person. I've never owned a stationary computer. So laptops are my life. Very nice packaging. I'm so excited for this computer. <laughs> First of all, we have this box, which is assumably the charger. Yup. And some stickers. That is a big charger. And now for the beauty itself. Oh my god, how cute is this? 
this laptop is optimized for gaming. Optimized. It comes with 16 or 32 gigabytes of RAM, a thousand gigabyte SSD storage, and it is packed with NVIDIA RTX 3060 or 3070. This is the world's first 16 inch QHD gaming laptop. It has a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. How peculiar is that? <laughs> I never used the word peculiar. This gaming laptop is a 3.3 gigahertz base clock and 4.2 gigahertz boost clock. Powerful little machine, isn't it? You know what, on this I will edit and I will play video games. So if you ever consider starting a YouTube channel, have a powerful laptop that you can both game on and also do editing on. Editing actually requires quite the PC and I know what I'm talking about as I do video editing for a living. So let me tell you about the screen. It is 165 hertz of refresh rate, which means frames per second. Really good for intense gaming sessions, let me just tell you that. It has AMD Ryzen processing. Processing, guys. Ooh, that's looking so smooth. All of the cables for the computer are behind the computer. How convenient is that? English, please. Yes, I'm gonna have it to English. Ooh, the screen is really nice. What a cute laptop. Hi there, I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. You'd like me no. to stay quiet. It also has a webcam built in, which my current PC upstairs does not have. For some reason, <laughs> did not have that. Don't know why it didn't have that. And if you're scared about your webcam, there is a physical switch. There it is, the physical switch on the side of the laptop. Where is Norway? Keyboard layout, Norwegian. Connect to the network. Wait, what? We have like the silliest Wi-Fi password in the world. <laughs> Ask Tanya. I think that was... <laughs> cool guy. Yeah, that's just, it's just excellent. Maybe I could do some live streaming on this since it has a webcam. Look how cute that sign is. I mean, if you want to have this laptop as a work laptop also for both work and play, let's say. Uh, you can turn the light of this logo off and it comes just way more subtle. This particular laptop, the Legion 5 Pro, it has the famous cold front 3 cooling vents. So the laptop has plenty of airflow on the sides and on the back of the laptop. It comes in the color variants, the storm gray and stingray. I don't know what this is, but I like the color of this one. Its AI will determine best performance for whichever game you're playing. And keyboard has a true strike too. A lot of technical terms, but in short, keyboard is really satisfying to, you know, type a bunch of letters. Letters. Listen to me. Irene, 80 years old. A bunch of emails, I mean, and also gaming. <laughs> and definitely editing, which I will be doing. It has all the typical ports that you would, uh, Assume a gaming laptop would have LAN, USB, HDMI, USB-C, headphone jack, actual headphone jack. <laughs> My phone doesn't even have that by now. Speedy charging of the battery. And it has eight hours of battery life. I have only seen stellar reviews on this model from Lenovo. It is good for both work and play. <laughs> That's what she said. So, I mean, if you are looking for a solid gaming laptop that you can also do some video editing on or do some regular work on. Check out the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro with my links down below, magic links. I have the magic links. If you're gonna order this, I ask kindly of you to use my links. It's gonna be good. Now I'm looking forward to deep diving into some Xbox Game Pass games and do some serious PC gaming. Isha man told me to say this. I don't know what it means. He said the laptop has eight cores and 16 threads. Eight cores and 16 threads, guys. I actually called my dad and asked what that means. And he said, what are you gonna do with such a powerful computer? <laughs> it's what my dad said. I'm like, yeah, you know. So yeah, Lenovo, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. And I will talk more about this beauty in my next video or the next after that one. The, the screen is surprisingly com competent. <laughs> <laughs> comfortable, I mean. It's probably com competent also and confident for all I know. I will actually do a top 10 PC games because I rarely talk about PC games on my channel and it is about time. 
because I started my interest for video games on the PC and I have been a laptop person for all of my life. To Tiny Hats' dismay, she's a stationary PC person. Uh, anyways, I'm going to tell you a tiny bit about another game. Just wrapping this video up with, uh, you know, game, PC and then a game, I guess. I have tried this game lately. Not that game. Not Fire Emblem Warriors. I'm so looking forward to Three Hopes, which is coming. That's why I'm, I'm having that there, so you know, so that I can feel a bit, you know, hyped for Three Hopes, which is coming. I was so happy when I saw that. And I have a collab up now on Switch Up. <laughs> I have it up on Switch Up. Go and watch Switch Up. My friends here on YouTube, I'm having a collab up there. Uh, probably soon. If it's not up yet, it, it will be up soon. Talking about Fire Emblem Three Hopes in that video. But anyways, here is a game that was sent to me. Eternal Radiance. Thank you so much to the developer and publisher for sending the original soundtrack, which has two discs. And this was, from what I remember, a Kickstarter game way back. This is a game I remember covering like early in its development and it was called something like Destiny Chronicles from my memory. Maybe I'm having a false memory, which is also something that we talk about on the Discord. In on the Discord? On the Disky Disk Disky Disk podcast. I mean, remember when we had disc cart on Disky Disk from Discord on the podcast? That was a mouthful. Anyways. Destiny Chronicles. It's called Eternal Radiance now, though. It is a new indie-developed action RPG with visual novel-like story sections. But I have to say, while it does have a really pretty art style, I feel that the gameplay falls a bit flat. But the art style is so pretty in this game. And I have a friend here on YouTube that did a much better, like, a full review of this game on YouTube. Christy Michelle, link to her down below. I think she even gave this game like 8 out of 10. I personally have to say that right now I am having a bunch of other games that is sucking my interest towards them. I think the gameplay falls a bit flat. Christy Michelle liked it. I am not loving it. I'm not loving it. The physical items and the little art book, those I love. They're very cute. Also a letter. Dear Irene, thanks for all the videos over the last few years. Since you joined the Metal Jesus Rocks crew, it says so in the letter. Not only your own channel, but Jason's as well, sharing your thoughts on pressing matters raised. Oh my god, is that what we do? Jason, is that what we do? I love it. Keep on the happy personality that you are sharing and your opinions on whether a game is worth the purchasing price. See you later, AJ. So that was from One Print Games. Go and check that out. <laughs> now also check out the links down below if you decide to pick up a Legion 5 Pro, which is now my main computer that I will be computering on. <laughs> now thank you so much for watching and definitely guys, check out the podcast. <laughs> I will see you later.